Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about the rigid motion of rotation. Let's start by answering the question, what is a rotation? We can say that a rotation occurs when an object moves around a certain point. And this point that we're moving around, we call it the point of rotation. Let's visualize this by looking at the following task. What we want to do, we want to rotate a point, let's call it B, and we want to rotate it around A. So B is the object in this illustration, and A is the point of rotation. When we are moving around a point, there are two directions that we can have. Let's illustrate the idea of a rotation with a positive direction. So let's remind ourselves that A is our point of rotation and B is the object. If B moves around A in a counterclockwise direction, then we can say that object B has rotated in a positive direction. Let's illustrate the idea of a negative direction and B is the object that we are rotating. If B moves around A in a clockwise direction, then we can say that B has rotated in a negative direction. The units that we use for rotation, it's always degrees. An important property that we have for rotation, regardless of which direction we take, is that the object is always the same distance to the point of rotation. So if we find the distance from A to B, that is the same distance as we would have from A to this specific location. And that is the same distance from A to this specific location. So you can think of the object as creating a circle around the point of rotation and the distance from the point of rotation to the object is the radius of the circle. Let's take a look at some specific cases that we have for rotation. There are four special cases when it comes to rotation. When we are rotating around the origin, when we make the origin as the point of rotation, there are four special cases that we have rules for. But before we discuss those rules, let's try to understand what do we mean by rotating 90 degrees 180 degrees and 270 degrees. When we are measuring rotations, the starting point is always the positive side of the x axis. Let's make a full circle around the point of rotation. When we perform a full circle, we said that we have 360 degrees of a rotation. Now, notice that 90 is the value that we get when 360 gets divided by 4. So we can think of 90 degrees as one quarter of the circle. Let's illustrate 180 degrees. We start on the positive x-axis and 180 degrees is half a circle. Let's illustrate to 170 degrees is three quarters of a circle. Now that we have visualized what do we mean when we want to rotate it at this certain degrees, now let's talk about the rules for each one of them. The notation for rotation, it's always a capital R. And as a subscript, we always want to indicate how many degrees we're rotating, which in this case, we're going to demonstrate 90 degrees. And now for 90 degrees, the rule is that given any coordinate point, x comma y, the image is always defined as negative y comma x. One way to think about this rule, is that the x and the y values, they switch places, and then we switch the sign of the new x. Now for 180 degrees, we have the following rule. If you want to rotate 180 degrees, we can get a coordinate point x comma y, and the image is going to be defined as negative x comma negative y. One reason to think about it is that we're just switching the sign of x and y. 
Now the rule of a rotation of 270 degrees is that given any coordinate point x comma y, the image is going to be located as y comma negative x. One way to think about it is that the x and the y, they switch places and the sign of the new y changes sign. We said that there were four cases, so what is the last case? The last case is when we want to rotate 360 degrees. But notice that in 360 degrees, you complete a full circle. Your starting point is the same as your ending point. Therefore, the image is equal to the pre-image. So the rotation of 360 degrees, given any coordinate point x comma y, the image is itself x comma y. One thing to keep in mind is that these rules are only true when we make the origin the point of rotation. If we change the point of rotation to a location that is not the origin, then these rules are not true. Let's take a look at an example. So here, we're given a coordinate point 2, 3. And notice that we want to rotate it around the origin, 0, 0. The first case is that we want to rotate it 90 degrees. We know a rule for that. Therefore, a rotation of 90 degrees, if we are given the coordinate point 2, 3, the image will be defined as negative 3, 2. Because notice that the original x is your y, and the y is your new x, but we change the sign of it. So let's actually call this point P1. Now let's place it in a coordinate plane. So if we want to visualize what we have done here, we got our point P, and after it was rotated 90 degrees in a positive direction, our new location is at negative 3, comma 2. Now let's get that same point and let's rotate it 180 degrees. Notice that we have a rule for that. Let's get our coordinate point 2, comma 3. And now the image is going to be defined as negative 2, comma, negative 3. Because notice what the rule says. Given an x value, then the image is negative x. So given 2, my image is negative 2. And given a y value, my image is negative y. So given 3, my image is negative 3. Let's call this point P2. Now let's plot this in our coordinate plane. What we are saying here is that if we get point P, and we rotated 180 degrees in a positive direction. It's going to land at the location of negative 2, comma, negative 3. Now let's perform a rotation of 270 degrees, which notice that we have a rule for that. So given the same coordinate point, 2, comma, 3, the image is at 3, comma, negative 2. Because the rule says that given an x value on the image, the y is defined as negative x. So given 2, the image of the y is negative 2. And given a y value, the image, the x value, is defined as y. So given y equals 3, now in my image, x equals 3. Let's call this point P3. Now let's plot this point. What we are saying here is that given a coordinate point, P, if we rotate 270 degrees in a positive direction, we are going to land at the location of 3, negative 2. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 